been playing the Staxel game. It's one of those farming games like Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley, but fused with the aesthetics of Minecraft. It has all the usual stuff like planting crops, catching bugs, fishing, milking cows, and cat girls? Uh, okay. Into the trash this game goes. When starting the game, you can customize your little voxel avatar, different hats, hairstyles, and even little elf ears. They plop you down in this little town, and this girl who's just named Farm Fan starts showing you around. I wonder if she has a name. Maybe her first name is Farm and her last name is Fan? I don't know. She takes you to your farm just outside of town, and the tutorial begins. First, they teach you how to use a hoe. Wait, let me rephrase that. They teach you how to use a gardening hoe. The farming tools can be used on one tile or charged to hit a wider area. Next, they teach you how to plant seeds and water them. Earlier, they asked what animal you prefer, dogs or cats. Dogs being the right answer, of course. And depending on which one you chose, you get one. Just place the doghouse down and a dog appears, just like real life. I wonder what it should name the little guy. Perfect. What a good puppy. Next up, we get to register for a farming license. So this whole time we've been illegally working a farm? Wow. After that big reveal, Farm Fan is done teaching us. When getting the license from the mayor, he'll say he can get you some cows if you build a barn first. The barn only really needs to be a roof and two troughs, but might as well get creative and make an actual structure. Making the troughs in this game introduces you to the crafting. It's a little tedious, but once you get the hang of it, it's a nice change of pace from the usual. Now that we have a simple structure and the troughs, the barn is built. Built the two close to the house, so the roof counted for my house. Oops. Once we get the cows, that's the end of the tutorial. It's basically smooth sailing from here. We can explore the woods, have a nicer axing walk on the beach, or just stick to making our farm bigger and better. The game is early access, so they're going to be adding more as well. There's a lot to explore and create in this game already. By far the most fun is when someone new wants to move in, you have to create a house for them. It's nice to be rewarded for creation in a game like this. A lot of options for furniture and blocks, so you can create some pretty cool looking things. Or just create little cramped houses like mine. Early on I didn't create any floors for my buildings, so when I added them, I didn't realize if you don't put flooring under the walls, grass will poke through. My solution? Leave empty spaces under the walls. Nothing bad could happen, right? can't stand up on their own in this damn gravity. This game has a ton of content and it's really fun. Can't wait to see what they'll add to it. They also have mod support and people have been working away at mods already. I may have already made one. There's one more thing I need to do before I wrap this video up. In the center of town there's this big fountain. It doesn't look grand enough to be the centerpiece of this place. Let's just get rid of it and add something with more personality. There we go, now the townspeople have something great to look at. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Or don't, I'm not your mom. You can follow me on Twitch, too. Most of my content on this channel are VODs, but I want to do something different with this video. Thanks for watching! Oh no! 